Hi there, this is Rob from Auburn Amps with a somewhat contentious topic today and that is gear acquisition syndrome. It's something that people joke about, the, uh, the idea that you've, you've spent time looking at reviews for a pedal for example and you decide that you're going to pull the trigger, you're going to buy that thing and then you wait with anticipation for it to show up. You, the package arrives, you tear it open, the excitement of having this new thing, you try it out, maybe you'll make and post a video or your own reviews of it and then a few days later you're doing the same thing again. You're interested in a different pedal or, a, or another type of guitar or you're going out to look at another amp for your collection it's um, it's it's it is a problem. It is a problem unless you've decided that you are just a collector. You have endless disposable income and endless amounts of time. You could not possibly devote to anything else. And you've decided that this is what you're going to do with your life. But if you stopped and added all the time you spend looking at gear reviews and and all the money you spend buying stuff that's still sitting in your in your music room that isn't really being used, that's not being gigged with, and it's certainly not helping you become a better musician, then you, you've got a problem. You've got a problem you should address for, the, for your own sake and for your family's sake too. It's important to keep in mind that people get into this habit because they they feel it will help them become a better musician. If your first guitar is a terrible instrument and you can barely play it without hurting your fingers, then naturally you want to move up to better quality gear to improve the playing experience, the, the joy, and, and to help you improve. But you quickly hit that ceiling where no improvement in the equipment or the sound you're getting back from it is really going to impact your playing. Keep in mind that your guitar hero could walk into your house and pick up the worst guitar you have or the worst guitar you ever had, plug straight into the worst amp you ever had, and they could make great music. So it's not the guitar, it's not the amp, it's the work they've done to become a great musician with their, with their hands and with their ears. Now I know it's much easier to look at a pedal review and decide to buy a pedal than it is to look at a guitar lesson video and spend the time and endure yourself not being good yet at, at a particular riff or a skill or a technique or a chord shape. But if your goal is to be a better musician, you have to do the work. And that's the work. Doing anything else like buying pedals that you don't need, guitars you don't need, amps you don't need is, uh, is a distraction and it's a distraction that, that fuels the industry that, that builds gear. So there are a lot of traps out there that are set for people who are just filling their basements with stuff they don't need. The, uh, the, you'll be advertised to uh, and convinced by others who have the same problem to indulge in this habit and it's a bad habit. Why is it a bad habit? Well, time. It's, it's taking time away from your family, it's taking times away, time away from things that are uh, important to you and money. If it's, uh, if it's, unless you're filthy rich and you can't think of anything else to do with your money, no one who needs any help, then uh, then it's a very debatable use of your money or your family's money. And honestly, if you have a family, if you have a spouse and or, and or kids, your money is not your money, it's your family's money, it's, it's your children's money, it's their children's children's money. Imagine your kids are trying to buy their first home or they're struggling to, to get by. The fact that you have a basement full of vintage gear and pedals is not that soothing for them and it shouldn't be soothing for you either. It's, um, it achieves nothing. All it does is, is helps someone else get rich at the expense of your inner problem. So if you're trying to plug some old inner hole by buying gear, like you weren't, you weren't getting enough attention as, as a kid, it's not just music gear, it could be hockey cards, anything, anything that's repetitive and expensive and questionable in value, then um, seek help. Honestly, seek 
help talk to a therapist and uh, and if you're hiding stuff from the person you fell in love with and chose to spend the rest of your life with then you clearly have a problem don't do it you don't need that gear to be a better musician and it only makes you feel good temporarily so address the problem stop wasting your time and money now this is coming from someone who builds amplifiers for a living I don't advertise widely I don't want to feel I don't want to fuel gear acquisition syndrome people come to me when they need something special and I, I deliver what they need but I uh, the, the, the whole pedal market, the vintage amp market, it has become, it, it's become sick. It's become very sick, and I don't want to see musicians become sick. I'm talking to you. I'm talking you, to you because I care about you as a musician. And, uh, and so please take this to heart and, and share it with your spouse. And, and think seriously before you make that next gear purchase. Okay. Lecture over. This is Rob from Auburn Amps wishing you a day full of music. <laughs>